What's up, y'all? This is Sorry back with another reaction, y'all, from the Fat Man's podcast. I got another reaction for y'all. But before we get into this reaction, y'all, please hit that like button and subscribe button. And yeah, share the video with your family, friends, whoever you see. And just tell them to subscribe to the Fat Man's podcast. So I got another reaction from y'all. I got another reaction for y'all. It's from I Get a Job. And the reaction name is Donald Trump. Savage Moments Part 3. Get a job. Um, on this, out of remembrance of Donald Trump, Trump 2024. We got Donald Trump Savage Moments. We know he's going to run for the election, the uh, president election for 2024, y'all. So, hey, I said, suit. let me see what Donald Trump was talking about in the savage moment. So, let's get up in here, y'all, and let's, let's see what Donald Trump talking about, y'all. I'm going to mute, y'all. Given uh, your concern with Twitter, have you given any consideration to deleting your account, to just walking away? from this platform you've been so critical of? Well, you know, if uh, you weren't fake, I would not uh, even think about it. I would do that in a heartbeat. If you look at what gets printed in newspapers, if only the public could understand where, you know, they're reading a story and they think it's real and it's not real in so many cases. And I'm not saying in every case, you have some great journalists, you have some journalists that I have great respect for, but uh, largely, I find, at least in a political sense, uh, there's so much fake news, it's disgraceful. Go ahead. Oh, I think, I think we've announced a plan. We're opening up our country. Just a rude person you are. We're opening up our country. Uh, we're opening it up very fast. Uh, the plan is that each state is opening, and it's opening up uh, very effectively. And uh, you, when you see the numbers, I think uh, even you will be impressed, which is pretty hard to impress you. Yeah, go ahead, please. Go ahead. It's enough for you. Go ahead. Thank you, Mr. President. The, um, Canada. Uh, I'm thinking about going to the rocket launch. I hope you're all going to join me. I'd like to put you on the rocket and get rid of you for a while. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you, Steve. These people are sick. Pelosi is a sick woman. She's got a lot of problems, a lot of mental problems. We're dealing with people that have to get their act together for the good of the country. Okay. Thank you very much. What crime exactly are you accusing President Obama of committing, and do you believe the Justice Department should prosecute him? Uh, Obamagate. The crime is very obvious to everybody. All you have to do is read the newspapers, except yours. Uh, John, please. There does seem to be a double standard here, Mr. President, where members of your own staff can get tests frequently when they need it, but ordinary Americans cannot. So yeah. when will the rest of America have the same access that members of your own White House have to testing? And you know what? If we didn't get the tests, if we did no tests in the White House, you'd be up complaining, why aren't you getting tests for the White House? See, we can't win, because if we didn't get the tests, you'd be up. I understand you very well, better than you understand yourself. And frankly, if we didn't get tests done, you'd be up complaining about the fact that we didn't have the tests done. Now that we're doing so well on tests and so quick and so fast, five minutes, etc., and so accurate, you're complaining that we're getting too many tests. So you can't win. Go ahead, Phil. You've said repeatedly that you think that some of the equipment that governors are requesting, they don't actually need. You said New York might need, I, I might not need 30,000. You said it on I Sean Hannity's on, Fox News. You on. said you know, that why you don't, might. Why don't you some, people act? Let, let me ask you. You said why some don't states. You act, why don't you act in a little more positive? It's always trying to my get question you. To you. Get is, you, get you. And you know what? That's why nobody trusts the media anymore. My That's question why to you people, is, how is that going to impact? Excuse me, you didn't hear me. That's why you used to work for the Times, and now you work for somebody else. Look, let me tell you something. We sent thousands of generators to New York. They were put into a warehouse, a New York warehouse that happened to be located, interestingly, in Edison, New Jersey. They were given to New York, and we then went to other places, also giving thousands of ventilators. The people in New York never distributed the generators. We said, why didn't you distribute them? Now, you have to understand, they have New York people working in those warehouses. They knew they had them. So we said, why didn't you distribute them? I'm, I hope they've distributed them now. But maybe they didn't need them so badly. Mr. Please, President, my second, Mr. President, my second question. My that's, second that's question enough. is. Thank you very much. Please, please. That's enough. Mr. That's enough. That's not fair to your other reporters. 
It's not fair. You had a long time, a long question. It's your, if we have time, I'll get back to you for your second question. Is that okay? All right. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you, sir. And I'd also like to ask you about some comments you made on Friday. Uh, you were talking about governors of different states, and you said, I want them to be appreciative. Uh, you also said, if they don't treat you right, but I, didn't I say don't that. call. I uh, didn't these say are direct, no, direct quotes, a, sir. Excuse me. Ready? 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 Take a look at what I said. I want them to be appreciative of me, okay? And then you cut it off because it's okay. fake news. You and of your administration, Listen, just, absolutely. Please, let me just finish. The, you just said it again, and you know the answer is a lie. You know I could read you your full comments, sir, let, let me that just would say, look, be easier. Your statement and your response and your answer is a lie, because here's the story. You ready? I said, I want you to be appreciative of me, and then I go on, and you cut it off. But it says you said, because I when you're not. I want them to be appreciative. I don't want them to say things that aren't true. I want them to be appreciative. We've done a great job. And I'm not talking about me. I'm talking about Mike Pence, the task force. I'm talking about Thank FEMA, you. the Army Corps of Engineers. Thank you. But then you went on to say, if they don't treat you right, I don't call. He's a different type of. See, and that's why people aren't watching CNN very much anymore. That's why they don't like it. That's why your ratings are no good. All right, y'all, before we get back over to it, Donald Trump, I like Donald Trump, man. He he said what the hell you want to say. He cut him off right there and there. They ch he check him. Be like, hey, 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 now, nah, hey, now, nah, don't, don't, no, no, that's not what I said, sir, sir, ma'am. Uh, I don't know why they, they are, I don't know. They People be, mis be mis mis misquoting people like a motherfucker, man. Um, <laughs> he, he said, that's why nobody would not. That's why nobody. That's why nobody likes CNN. <laughs> uh, but hey, uh, what was the other one? He was at Donald Trump was definitely right on like the White House thing with the the uh the checking for COVID, the C nineteen and stuff like that. He's definitely right. So if they didn't get him as much as they do now they'd be like oh no why don't you have it in the in the white house this and that that new they just complaining people just complaining but man i low-key thought donald trump was gonna get assassinated yo i'm not gonna lie to you when he when he first ran for president all the hate that people had in their heart for donald for donald trump i was like seriously thinking they was gonna really you know, assassinate this man. He damn near got in peace, didn't he? Or did he get in peace? No, he almost got in peace. So it's like people really hated Donald Trump because they couldn't control him. So that's crazy. But hey, y'all, let's get back up in here. Because you even, after knowing the truth for days now, you bring up the old lie. And you know what? I don't mind if I'm disrespected, but they can't disrespect the Army Corps of Engineers and FEMA. Okay. Why is the lack of a please? Go ahead. And when you see our friends and our great wounded warriors and our great warriors, when you see them without their legs or without an arm, and with so much damage, it's most likely that he caused that damage because that's what he liked. He loved planting the roadside bomb. So now he's gone, and that's a good thing. And we're having people like Nancy Pelosi. Oh, it's a real genius. Do you believe that one? Nancy. But here's a guy who slaughtered and butchered civilians all over, and, and military, whoever was in his way. And we have Bernie and Nancy Pelosi. We have them all. They're all trying to say, how dare you take him out that way? You should get permission from Congress. You should come in and tell us what you want to do. You should come in and tell us so that we can call up the fake news that's back there and we can leak it. That's a lot of, that's a lot of corruption back there, folks.
no, no, but think seriously. So they want me, so you know, these are split second decisions. You have to make a decision. So they don't want me to make that decision. They want me to call up, maybe go over there. Let me go over to Congress. Well, come on over to the White House. Let's talk about it. When can you make it? Well, I won't be able to make it today, sir. How about, uh, let's say, in a couple of days? Oh, sure, come on over. And we had to make a decision. We didn't have time to call up Nancy, who is not operating with a full deck. Now, they want us to call. Can you imagine calling crooked Adam Schiff? He's so crooked. He's so crooked. Say, gee, Adam, how you doing? Listen, we have the world's number one terrorist. Killed thousands and thousands of people. We'd like to set up a meeting so we can discuss his execution. Would, would you be willing to meet? Well, I won't be able to make it this week. Well, you know, he's traveling fast. We got him lined up, Adam. You little pencil neck. He buys the smallest shirt collar you can get, and it's loose. He's a failed presidential candidate. He's a nasty person. I don't like the governor of Washington, so you know who calls? I get Mike Pence to call. Then in 1913, they ended tariffs, okay? They ended tariffs. Somebody got stupid. They said, oh, it's okay for other nations to come in. I won't use a certain word, because it's not politically, but everybody knows the word I'd love to use. Should I use it? I won't do it. <laughs> and the problem is, if I do do that, they won't put the little preamble that we just went through. They'll just use the word, and they'll say, isn't that terrible? So I won't use it. I've learned, because with the fake news, if you tell a joke, if you're sarcastic, if you're having fun with the audience, if you're in live television with millions of people and 25,000 people in an arena, and if you say something like, Russia, please, if you can, get us Hillary Clinton's emails. Please, Russia, please. Oh, yeah, before we get back up in here, we only got three more minutes of that. But, man, Donald Trump, man, that, I respect this man. This, like, this offer, like, this offer, like, he talk about what he want to talk about. Like I like people that stand on what they say. They don't. They don't. They don't just shut their mouth for nobody. They say what they need to. They say what they need to say, and they get gone. Um. So the Nancy Pelosi thing. Yeah, there's something wrong with her. I I don't know what it is, but there's something wrong with her. Do y'all really think? Do y'all like seriously? Do y'all really think? Uh. That um. Do y'all really think that uh uh that little that little stunt right there that she actually got attacked? Do y'all really think that? Like me personally, like it was kind of like suspect because there it was like a couple couple days from the um from the election. So I was just wondering, like, is that am I tripping or? Uh, is that true? You know what I mean? Like, I was like, huh. That's a little weird. Oh, I see, I see that, uh, the Republicans won the House. I was, I was just thinking, that was weird. Like, that was weird to me. So, I, I don't know. Dude, I think this lady is a little crazy. Uh, she too old. She didn't go sit her ass down. Just like Don, not Donald Trump, but uh, Joe Biden, dementia Joe Biden. Uh, that man doesn't know where he's going. Like seriously, like in a literal sense, he doesn't know where he's going. Uh, I I don't know. This man got dementia. Everybody sees it. That means he get that man needs to get kicked out the office. Uh, Joe Biden is 80, 80 years old. I think I think so. I don't know. 
That man, how old is Hey Siri? Hey Siri, how old is Joe Biden? Joe Biden is 79 years old. That man is seven years old. That man about to die. That man about to die. He don't know what he's talking about sometimes. He stumbled on his words. It's like, man. But anyways, Donald Trump 2024, my guys. Please get us the emails. Please. Now Donald Trump now like no like y'all know I, I'm a little balanced now now what what let me see your tax forms and all I'm just saying y'all come on now nobody really cares about I know this is years years ago but Hillary Clinton I don't think she'll ever run her again um I don't know I don't know if I'll ever see a woman president in my in my lifetime I'm not sure. So everybody's having a good time. I'm laughing. We're all having fun. And then that fake CNN and others say, he asked Russia to go get the emails. <laughs> Horrible. I mean, I saw it like two weeks ago. I'm watching, and they're talking about one of the points. He asked Russia for the emails. These people are sick, and I'm telling you, <laughs> they know the game. They know the game. And they play it dirty, dirtier than anybody's ever played the game. This is the arbiter. This guy is the arbiter of what's supposed to go on Twitter. He's the one he thought that, uh, he thought, and if you use CNN as a guide, CNN, which is fake news, he uses CNN as a guide. His name is Yoel Roth. And he's the one that said that uh, mail-in balloting, you look mail-in, no fraud? No fraud? Really? Why don't you take a look all over the country? There's cases all over the country. If we went to mail-in balloting, our election all over the world would look as a total joke. It would be a total joke. But we had the greatest of all time. Now we have people that lost. And unfortunately, you put the wrong people in a couple of positions. And they leave people for a long time that shouldn't be there. And all of a sudden, they're trying to take you out with bullshit, OK? With bullshit. Y'all, that's the end of the video, y'all. Y'all tell me what y'all think about this video. Y'all tell me what you think about Donald Trump's savage moments. Uh, in the comment section, I might not read. I might read. I, I'm gonna read all of them, but I'm not. I might not respond to all of them, but I definitely do read them. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask y'all. Are y'all are y'all Donald Trump fans or no? Are you, you got Donald Trump fans. I'm I'm pretty sure some of y'all are, you know what I mean, you know what I mean, Trump 2024, you know what I mean, 20, did I say 2024, 2024, yeah, 2024, yeah, 2024, y'all, you know what I mean, put up in the comments though, y'all, please hit that like button, subscribe button, I'm trying to hit 800 subscribers by the end of this month, y'all, so please do share this video with everybody you see, your family, friends, whoever you see, just tell them to subscribe to the Fat Man's Podcast, y'all, but, oh, Cyrus out from the Fat Man's Podcast, I will, I will see you guys on the next thing, y'all, and peace out, y'all.